Welcome to another episode of Tourette Syndrome from around the world. My name is Seamus Evans. I live with Tourette Syndrome and I'm always trying to get the best out of life. As an ambassador for Tourette Syndrome, I'm on a mission to spread awareness around the whole universe and glorify individuals living with Tourette Syndrome. So I reached out to Katerina Bruno from Uruguay, South America. She is the president of Tourette Syndrome Association in Uruguay, and she has sent this video in with her life story about Tourette Syndrome. So enjoy. Well, hello, my name is Katerina. I am from Montevideo, Uruguay, and uh, I am 51 years old. And I am the president of Tourette's Association in Montevideo, Uruguay. Uh, well, this started when I was seven year, years old um, and well, I really didn't know what happened with my body and it was, you know, just uh, something that I want, I, I have to move, I have to, to, you know, just to do something. Uh, my parents took me to the club, you know, just to do swimming and sports and soccer and, but, you know, that wasn't my target at all. And uh, well, when um, when I you know start getting older, you know, uh, 12 like that, I start moving and moving, and I start moving more uh, hard, harder, you know, like uh, more the movements. My movements were strong ones, and they hurt me. And after that, I took a long, long, long sleep because you know. Um, it was really tiring doing that stuff that, you know, is involuntary, we know that. Uh, it's, uh, it's a inheritance and we know that too. And this is from my father's family. I dig it and well, I found it out. And well, um, the bullying was there always. Uh, when I went into a party with my sister, uh, suddenly a clown appeared in that party and when I saw that man with that big red nose I say what's that and I say to my, my sister what's that it's a clown okay she's older than me it's a clown and I start doing like this I mean all of this up to this part together all the tips from upper part together I said oh what happened and well uh, her so-called friends told her that, okay, uh, I was a monster, that I was a disaster, uh, and well, uh, the, uh, that I was uh, a monster was uh, the only reason, and a monkey. So um, they kick us out of the uh, birthday party, kick us, literally kicked us. And well, after that, uh, the same night, uh, on a big street with a piece of chalk, a white chalk, she starts, you know, she, she says, uh, you are a monster, you are doing mockeries, we don't love you, we don't like you. So when I went to school, everybody was laughing at me, everybody, you know, started, what are you doing, Kate? <laughs> how funny, how funny. And for me, it wasn't funny at all. So, you know, it was uh, a bit... Uh, a bit hard, more than a bit hard. And uh, then when I started reaching 12, 13 years, um, happens that one day I uh, I came from high school and I started doing like this and I started doing like this and moving my, 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 my legs and my feet and all my body. And my parents had to grab me, my, 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 my father from my upper part and my mom from my uh, lower part, and I did uh, around 25, 26, 25 um, ticks that at the time for me was like uh, convulsions, seizures, or something like that, because it was too much. I could not stop at all, you know, just doing that. I could not stop at all, at all. And uh, well, you know, uh, they, um, you know, they just, you know, I get into the shrink and give me some uh, pills again, you know, just to see if I could handle it well. 
but uh, you know, nothing could do it. So you know, I I really don't know what to do. I uh, I I wanted you know to 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 be a part of something, but nobody told me anything because I was doing that and that and that. And well, um, that's that's it. It's very it's very um, it hurts a lot. Hurts very very much. So well nowadays I am 51 and I have this one that is the one that I do when I want when I am uh, under pressure but tones of pressure I start doing this and then uh, the one I have is like this that is <coughs> that one is another one that I have and uh, and what it's this is the two ones and. Here in Montevideo, I could talk to producers on, on TV, you know, talk to mass media, and well, some um, people at the, at the different channels here. Uh, I start with interviews, and tons of people start saying, oh, I have that, I have that, I have that. So, well, um, I start uh, seven years ago, the association. Uh, I really, uh, you know, I, I put my heart on that uh, because uh, I don't really want kids to be to to be getting apart uh, from what they have, and because it's not fair, okay? It's not fair to do that. Um, and well, and I do it for myself too, you know, for curing myself. Even though we know that to rate is never, it's never be, you know, it's never uh, going to be uh, a, a zero person if I, in our lives. It's going to be a part of our lives until we die. So I do it for, for myself and I do it for um, the person who understands this uh, and puts a name on these ticks that we have, <coughs> this Ture. So <coughs> Ture, I uh, really... Um, uh, love to read, okay. I wish I could meet him at that time. Really, I could, I wish because uh, it's a person who risked his life at 16. When he was 16 years old. He went to Fr France to to study, and uh, you know, he did many, many, many things for us. You know, in order to understand his uh, his syndrome and well. I'm very happy for my foundation and very happy for the people who are there and they're better. They're getting, you know, just like, you know, a, a big support between uh, an, an interdisciplinary support among uh, four doctors that we have, uh, not all the time, but that we have once, once a month, okay? And well, that is a very, very important part. So thank you very much for this opportunity to tell you what happened with me. And well, big kiss, big hug, and you have here Montevideo, you have a place to come. Thank you. If you want to know more information about Katerina and anything else about Tourette Syndrome Association in Uruguay, just head on over to the description in this video. And if you like this episode or you like this YouTube short series, Tourette Syndrome Around the World, I'd love to hear from you. Do you have Tourette's? Send your video in. Have a good day.